selection and choosing equipment, the most important decision in planning your playground is your choice of safety surfacing. In this video, we're talking rubber mulch for commercial playgrounds, its uses, benefits, and more. And we're putting it to the test too by the experts who play, even the experts who install playgrounds for AAA state of play. Our top of the line in safety surfacing is poured in place rubber, but it's also our most expensive kind of surfacing. Wood fiber mulch may be the most commonly used. It's the cheapest and most natural, but it breaks down due to wear, tear, and needs frequent replacement. Say hello to recycled rubber mulch. We use PlaySafer rubber mulch nuggets. It comes in a range of colors, black, brown, blue, green, and red. It's durable, cost efficient, and really aces the fall test. It does come down to liability and safety, but safety has to come first. Uh, first concern is you know, making sure that the kids are going to be playing on this equipment, are doing it in a safe environment, and we're doing everything we can to make sure that we're mitigating any kind of circumstance that might cause an injury. We are putting in uh, one toddler playground over here uh, with border timbers and six inches of rubber mulch, and we're also doing a larger um, playground for older children as well uh, over here along with six, inch, uh, six inches of mulch as well as border timbers. We just installed two play areas with rubber mulch for the Public Works Department of Norwood, Ohio. Generally speaking, four to six inches of rubber mulch is enough to cover a 12-foot fall height. That means if a child falls from as high as 12 feet, they should typically avoid critical injury as determined by industry and consumer safety standards. The main advantage of rubber mulch is that you don't need as much of it to get your safety resilience uh, for impact rating. The main reason why we chose the rubber mulch for our surfacing is just the extended life that you get out of it. It's an extremely safe project. We don't have to put it down near as much, but a lot of times with a uh, wooden mulch that we've had to put down, that ends up having to be replaced every two years, three years. We get a lot longer service life out of this rubber mulch. Rubber mulch is cleaner. It won't break down in heavy rain. Unlike wood mulch, rubber mulch does not deteriorate, does not easily blow around, wash away in a storm, or get spread around by children at play. Maintenance is easy. Debris can be removed with a leaf blower. A thorough cleaning is as simple as washing it down with environment-friendly soap, then a hose. Rubber mulch is disease resistant and doesn't attract bugs. The replacement timeline is about every 10 to 12 years. Any spots where the rubber has been worn or moved around can easily be replaced or replenished. Rubber mulch is made of recycled tires, but it all started as a natural product from the rubber plant. Some guy named Goodyear, yes, that guy, came up with the vulcanization process, which turns natural and synthetic rubber into a lasting, almost indestructible material. One of the top questions we get is, is rubber mulch safe? And the short answer is yes. Our rubber mulch brand is safe, non-toxic, and meets all safety and testing standards set by IPEMA and the Consumer Product Safety Commission. It's also ASTM certified by the American Society for Testing and Materials. Rubber mulch is not only safe, but preferable when it comes to cushioning falls on playgrounds. <laughs> we have three options. Bulk rubber mulch can be delivered by truck, 23 tons at a time. Our installers commonly use one ton super sacks. If you do it yourself, you'll need heavy machinery to unload and spread the mulch. We also sell rubber mulch in 40 pound bags. Doing the math, that's 50 bags or a one ton super sack. The advantage is they're easier to carry and spread to smaller, more localized areas. With all three methods, we have experienced installers who can do it all or assist with supervision. Whether we do it or you, put a border around the area you want to cushion. Make sure there's proper drainage. Ground level playgrounds will need either natural or pipe drainage to take the water away from the play area. Again, for rubber mulch, the recommended depth is four to six inches. Mama, Dad! You've put a lot of work into planning and building the perfect play area. Recycled rubber mulch can put some real bounce in your step, your long-term maintenance and budgeting, and any concerns about safer, longer-lasting surfacing.